Here we are, just two dudes, chilling in an apartment in our glorious suits and hats. Time to make a phone call. Operator, give me R&I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks, ma'am. All right, time to get going, guys. Here on this lovely day in the apartment with the crazy woman in this case of crazy women. Our nice new suit outfit that we unlocked, which doesn't really fit the detective. But it's pretty cool, so we'll keep wearing it. I like the elevator. Whoa. Thought you, for a second, I thought you just pressed the wall. Apparently, he actually pressed the button, though. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, a movie producer's wife. And finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. All right, it's time to make our way to... I guess we should set our location here. We'll go to... I think all we have is the... Uh, whoops, not intuition. The silver screen prop store that we just called in. Bishop's apartment, isn't that where we are right now? Yeah, that's where we're at right now. So we don't need to set that as a destination. Maybe we have to come back, though. I don't know. Gotta go talk to Marlon Hopgood. Make that the current destination. Goodbye, Hotel Bellman in your nice red suit. I'll see you later. Time to go. Newspaper? Not one we can talk to, or read, or whatever whatever you want to say. Talking to the newspaper, yeah, that's kind of creepy. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Into the car. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't kill me. Partner, let's go. Look at him, he's doing some exercise on the stairs there. Stefan, exercise time is not now. Oh, boy, we'll have to go grab him. Hang on, please excuse my partner. Here he comes. Goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Let's go, Stefan. Get in the car. Well, I like driving because I want to see if we can get any of those, Mrs. like... Bishop knows more than she's uh, letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah. You think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet man brief decorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the cat. Hmm. So we, uh, our detective team here thinks that Mrs. Bishop is in on it. But I like driving because then you get those random calls of, uh, you know, oh, there's, there's this, this, this side mission going on. You don't get those if you skip the driving. So I figured we drive. We can, uh, right turn. Whoops. We can do the whole skip the red lights thing if you, if you'd like um, to make the driving quicker. I want to. Don't crash into me like that. That's rude. Back off. But this way we can see those side missions um, when we get them. And there is Cola King. Can't decide who I like better. Well, I can decide who I like better. I was going to say Captain Salty or Cola King. Definitely Cola King. Captain Salty, though, I do kind of starting to grow on. He's starting to grow on me a bit. Straight on. Whoa, dude. Siren time. Driving down to LA. Next right. Okay, right turn here. Going to the Silver Screen Store. LA is a very glorious place. Perfect weather. Probably moving there in August. Go live in an uh, apartment in downtown Los Angeles by USC. If that happens, I will definitely show you where I'm living. It's a pretty sweet place. I've been there before. Checked it out. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Alright. So. Here we are. Coming up silver screen, so we don't want to scare anybody, so we'll turn off our siren. Make our turn. You need to take the next left. I, oh, I'm, I'm going to do that, Stefan. You know it. You know how I like taking that next left. Here we are. Silver screen props, 12.15 p.m. Alright, and here we are at the lovely prop store, the silver screen prop store with the mermaid statuette and the cigarette package. On the building adjacent. Let's... What's this? Golden... What kind of props you got? Golden... Golden fire hydrants, cactuses, and horses. I think those are the horses from the beginning of the game. That nod to Red Dead Redemption in the opening cutscene, if you remember that. But let's go inside and meet Mr. Marlin. <gasps> Grizzly Bear, you are so tall. And your mouth is so big. Holy cow. Marlin, my friend. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. 
We are investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Oh, Christ! I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Yeah, we can already tell this guy's a slimy, grimy, greeny, creepy liar. But he likes art. Apparently lots of it. And he likes a good beard, so maybe there is a redeeming quality to the man. There's another horse. Lots of props. So yes, we're just trying to look at your props. Knights, hello. Wardrobe, hello. Jukebox, hello. Bed and stretcher, hello. Masks and animals on the wall and drums and cola king. Maybe he is a good guy. Probably not, though. Let's follow him into his lair of doom. Here we come. Movie posters on the wall. Do, 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 do. Whoa. Is that two of the same one? The Happy General? For oh, there's lots of two of the same one. Foreigner's Revenge. <laughs> Three foreigners, two Happy Generals. This guy very... <coughs> Sorry, apparently hasn't made very many movies. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm going to take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. Oh, yeah, get tough with him. I like how, I like how these guys are like, Hey, we're policemen. Shut up and behave or I'll punch you. It's a pretty, good, pretty funny strategy. All right. What do you got going on in here? Anything? Vibrations, where are you? Here you Oh, shrunken heads. Cole, remember these. From the car. Cole, remember? Apparently you don't. What about this one? Will this one tri trigger your memory? You remember this, this shrunken head, please? No? Okay, Cole. That makes me sad. So it looks like there's another one here. Third time's the charm, right? <gasps> no. Cole, I'm shaking it. Don't you remember? It's right in front of you. The head from the car. Go oh, gosh, gosh. What am, I, what am I doing wrong here? Shouldn't you remember this? That's four and no thing. Cole, you're dumb. What about this? Pills. Om nom nom. Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Actually, not om nom nom. Gross, gross, gross. Poison. Bad people. Ugh. More heads. Can we investigate the camera? Camera, camera. Any film in it? Whoa, is there a glare on this mirror? Whoa, mirror. Is there a camera back there? What the heck? Turn off the lights, Hopkins. How is there a camera in the mirror? Why would I want to do that? Humor him. Oh, it's a one way. Yeah. Through. There's a room on the it's a other secret side. room. The bricks are like peeled off or pulled out, and there's the camera. That's bad. Huh. Oh, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert. Yeah, you sicko, you evil man, your red bow. I'm gonna run into you, jerk. Show me the peep room. Can't be that way, Anything though. in here first? Uh-oh, what's this? A brush? Comb your face. Comb your face. I don't think, I don't think so. so either. All right. Well, dresses. Let's check out the peep room. <gasps> do, 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 do. Mirror, mirror. Invest. Why is it not letting me investigate? Investigate, investigate. This is the same mirror. Do we have to like flush the toilet here? Pull the magic string on the ceiling. The light switch string. Why is he not clicking it? Is this not the right mirror? Does it not like line up right? Let's make sure. Okay. So the bathroom is right here. Okay. I don't think it lines up because the bathroom would be like right here. And apparently that mirror is over farther, so... Can we, like, go behind the curtain? No? I'm gonna find a different way in. Can we go over here? No, that's pills. Cole, we've already talked about those. No way in. Okay, well, we're gonna have to go out and find a different way, I guess. Goodbye, Stefan and Marlon. We gotta go do some searching. Maybe we can get back there a different way. The game wants us to go back there, so we're gonna get try to get back there. What about here? Door, 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 door. Oh, this is the place we... Yes, this is prop place, Cola King. This is where we just were. Anything in here, though? Any clue? Whoop, whoa. Don't run to the wall, Cole. Anything in the prop shop? Vibration. Cola King, you shouldn't be with this bad man. Piano, no. Desk. Mm, I'm guessing they don't want us to go that far out. Lamps, okay. There's no music, so I'm guessing there's nothing out here. So we'll keep looking for the secret room. This way. Jump into the dumpster. Secret bat cave entrance, maybe? Do do do. No? Okay. What is this? This wall does not line up. There's a gap. Can we go in the gap? Please? Oh, it's a fake wall. What, a, what an evil can evil. Marlin. Yeah, kick that open. Show them what we got. Here's your secret room. Yeah, kick that door, Cole. Get angry. We just found your secret room, jerk. I wonder if they saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood. Yeah, what a freaking creep show. Hello? 
Can we look inside your camera? No, that's the panorama of the room. We already saw that. Can we, like, get on this side, maybe? Hello? Okay. Oh, there we go. Yep. He's definitely a creeper. Definitely a creeper. And there's another hole. What's this one for? The... Oh, my God. The bathroom? What? Is it? Okay, we're putting you in prison, sir. You're going right to jail. I don't even care. I don't even care. What do we got here? Film reel. Hmm. Jungle drums. Eighth and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. Okay, so is he filming another movie? I don't remember hearing anything about Jungle Drums. Or is that maybe an old movie? Ooh, a sword. Maybe we can use this to slice off Marlin's head and put him in justice. Fortunately, I don't think the station would look very kindly on that move, Cole, so we're going to have to pass for right now. Is this another film reel? Mark Bishop, Jessica Hamilton. Ooh, here's the good stuff. We've got the, the main clue, I'm guessing, here. Gone. So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? What? Probably Bishop took it for his private collection. Another El Grosso to join the bunch. What's in this bottle? Los Diablos. Didn't we see that back at the uh, Bishop apartment, I think? All right, well, now we know. Now we figured everything in there is to figure out about Marlon. Almost looks like they were trying to build another hole into the bathroom there. <laughs> Creep. Sicko. Jerk. Yeah, fake wall. Kind of clever, though. More of your prop shot. More shrugging heads. Cole, come on. you, you got to remember these guys. You have to. Remember who you are. The, the voodoo. Cole. Are you kidding me, Cole? It's the voodoo head. God. Fine, Cole. What about these ones? Will this trigger your memory? This one looks just like the one we picked up before. Come on. Finally. Goodness up. gracious, Cole. You're very dense today. <laughs> Not the white one. The unpainted one. Uh-oh. Whoa. Hello. Can we be friends? No? Oh, okay. I was just asking. You don't have to get so angry. Jesus. Just checking. What's this? Newspaper. Not a good clue, but I gotta get my collectibles on. Alright, so let's see if there's any more clues. Lots of messy paint. This guy's not very good at painting. Cole, you finally remembered the freaking voodoo head. Anything back here that we can check out? Might as well just do a quick little run so we have enough information to put this guy in prison. He's a freaking psychopathic creeper. Stow it, don't throw it. Good at painting, I guess, or buying pictures at least. Alright, let's go back in and find this guy. Anything else in this? Is there anything in here? Lots of movie posters, nothing. Alright, dude. Cole, roll up your sleeves. Time to question the bad guy. Tell us about Bishop, you 44-year-old weirdo. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So, yeah. When Bishop is doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production, though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. Sure you haven't, buddy. You are not a good liar. Look at that. Look at the way he's moving his lips like that. We know you're lying. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? Absolutely, and I think that's a clue what he left lying around, and that's the film reels, I believe. So, film reel, probably, probably this one down here, the one with his name on it. I'm guessing that's where we're going to go with. Boom! I have a drugged up 15 year old girl and you have chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. Sure you aren't. Tell us about Ballard. Miss witch woman actress girl thing. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. Hmm, I think that's a lie as well. Look at the way he, like, moves his lips and hesitated there. We're gonna, let's just press this guy. Go for it, ghost. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. Yeah, except for the movie you made. We gotta find something with Ballard, okay? All these are from the scene of the crime. I mean, the shrunken head we could use, but that doesn't prove Ballard was there. I'm guessing it's got to be something in the building. Chlorohydrate, nothing about Ballard. The film reel, that's just Bishop. No, it's got it's got to be this again, because I think, I mean, that would be that June Ballard brought Jessica Hamilton in for the shooting, so, like, the film shooting, so it's got, it's, cross your fingers, guys, we're going with this one again. Enough. 
I've been in your peep room, Hopgood. I've seen your smut pictures in the camera setup. You made a movie of Jessica. I found the canister. The deal is I get to sell the movies to burlesque houses and private collectors. These movie guys love seeing their cocks on screen. But part of the arrangement is I never film their faces. June had me film Bishop, and then she kept the movie for insurance. He went apeshit when he realized his face was front and center. Who has the film now? Who else? McAfee. Hmm, so there's lots of dastardly deeds going on. Tell us about the blackmail and what you're doing to Mr. Ballard, or Mr. Bishop, rather. Ballard had what she wanted. Where does the money come into it? What money? Oh, right. Let's show him the check. Enough of the lies. I told you, I get my cut selling dirty movies. Sure, we're, we're getting better at this. We're, I think we're learning. Do we could, we, let's show him the blackmail check. I don't know why it's, it's the 20000 and the blackmail, but we'll go with blackmail. Your ex was getting 20 large from Bishop. If I wanted to skim 20 from Bishop, we'd do it through the movie budget. June said she'd sell him the film once the movie had wrapped, but Guy wanted cash. He's in a cash-only business. You think I had a choice in this? Checkmark. Last one. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. Hmm. Like, knowing this guy, that would be a lie, but I, I don't think he cares about Bishop, clearly. Like, he, he doesn't care about screwing him, so why would he, like, cover him up? And he's looking straight at us like a creepy clown with that bow tie and suspenders. So we're gonna go with truth? Maybe, please? You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phelps! Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Detectives! Johnny Goldberg, you work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today, by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb. A polite. But I'm a lot less polite, this smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. Whoa, 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 Jesus! Goodness gracious, man, I knew you were in trouble, but holy cow, now we're getting chased. Oh my god! Don't shoot at me like that, you jerk. Cole, Stefan, shoot them. Take out their tires, goodness gracious. I'll try for the tires, keep your foot down. Yes, yeah, goodness, holy cow, madness. I really don't want anybody getting to Bishop before they Yeah, there's one part down. Boom, baby. Man, this case just gets more here, and more complex and crazy as it goes. 
Shoot him now. Get the tire. Get the tire. Get the tire. So many people aren't involved. This is getting awesome. Cola King, are you involved? I hope not. We need to lose those fools, you though. Shoot his tire. Goodbye. Goodbye. Crash, bam, boom. Let's see him chase us now. Onto the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Mikasi. Hey, if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. Goodness gracious, guys. What a crazy episode. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Leave a like if you'd be so kind. This is one of my favorite episodes yet. Cool case. Lots of complication. A creepy dude. And creepy guys with guns that are going to try to kill us. Hopefully we'll survive another day. Have a fantastic day yourself. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.